Now let's start with a very important topic that is electrostatics. Before going into detail, let's see some common phenomenon that occurs around us. That is, in winters, you might have seen some crackling sound when you remove your winter clothes. Apart from that, you will feel some electric shock if you touch any doorknob or the door, the furniture, etc. Apart from it, we also have noticed that when we rub the ruler with that of our hair and try to touch some bits of paper, then that paper get attracted towards the ruler. Why is it so? There must be some very important and conceptual topic behind it. There are various scientists who work upon this experiment. If we talk around 600 BC, then the Greek philosopher Thales, he worked upon this concept. He took amber, okay, and he rubbed the amber with that of the fur or the wool. And later on, he found that the amber behaves as a magnet, that is, it becomes charged. And it starts attracting the lighter objects near to it. That is some bits of paper or dry leaves or feather, etc. So what it is? He then concluded that it's called electrostatics. So from there, the concept electrostatics came into existence. Now, the electrostatic, as we all know, is somewhat a heavy term for you. You might have seen electrostatics, a very heavy term. If I decompose this electrostatic into two parts, that is electro and statics, then it might be easy for you to understand now. So the another name for electrostatic, it's static electricity. From static electricity, the word static means stationary. That is the electricity which is produced by stationary electric charges. Now you are confused. I know that. Why? Because you might have known that the electricity is always formed by the movement of charges. That is, when the charges move from one place to another, then the current electricity is produced. But here I am telling you that the charges are not moving. The charges are stationary. So in that case, the electricity produced is static electricity. The, there are major differences between the two terms, that is the static electricity and the current electricity. The main difference is that when the circuit is connected to the battery, then the current starts flowing and it becomes current electricity. But the static electricity is formed when the two bodies rub against each other. That is, when the two bodies are rub against each other, then the charges, they do not flow. They only transfer from one body to the another and due to this transfer of electrons, the electricity produced is called static electricity. Now, I have told you the word rubbing. Rubbing is only possible when two bodies come into contact with each other. That means we can define the static electricity as the frictional electricity. So another name for static electricity is your frictional electricity. This frictional electricity is formed by the charges. The charges can be positive charges and negative charges. Now let me demonstrate a very small experiment. The experiment shows that when we take two glass rods, okay, the two glass rods are rubbed with silk and they acquire some charge. And when those two glass rods are brought into contact with each other, then they ripple each other. Now, let me perform a second experiment. That is, I am going to take a glass rod which is rubbed with silk and one ebonite rod which is rubbed with fur or wool. Now, bring the glass rod and the ebonite rod close into contact with each other. You will find that they attract each other. What it is going on? In the case of rubbing, the glass rods acquire the positive charge and the silk becomes the negative charge. In the case of ebonite rod, the ebonite rod becomes negative charge and the wool or the fur becomes positive charge. As we all know that the like charges ripple each other, whether positive or negative. That means two glass rods with the same charges ripple each other. And apart from that, if we talk about ebonite and the glass rod, so ebonite is negative charge and glass rod is positive charge. So they both attract each other because the unlike charges attract each other. Now let's see that how these electric charges are generated in the static electricity. 
Basically, the static electricity is formed when the imbalance of electric charges are done. That is, if I talk of any furniture, let's say door, window, any furniture in your house, then that material consists of various atoms. Basically, the atoms consist of protons and neutrons. Protons and neutrons are tightly packed inside the nucleus and outside that what revolves? The electrons. Now, the atomic model and the static electricity, they both are somewhat related to each other. Basically, the atoms remain neutral. That is, the amount of protons and the amount of electrons becomes equal. That means the positive charge and the negative charge remains equal. In general case, I am talking about. Okay, now if I disturb the body, that is, if I am going to rub the two bodies, they get disturbed. So, in that condition, there occurs some imbalance. The imbalance is created when the charge, that is electron, from one body gets transferred to the another body. Now, I am telling you that electrons are transferred. Why I am not telling you that protons are transferred? The reason behind it that the protons are tightly packed inside the nucleus. Okay, the electrons are revolving around the nucleus. The force that binds the electrons with the nucleus is weaker than the force which binds the protons. So in this case, when we rub the two bodies, then the electrons get easily detached while the protons are so strongly bind that they won't get easily detached. And it's impossible for protons to get detached. So, if I am talking about the transfer of charges, so I am going to talk about the transfer of electrons. Now, when the electrons get transferred, okay, from body A to body B, now the body A has donated some electrons to the body B. That means the body B has excess of electrons. Due to excess of electrons, body B becomes negative charge. As the body A donates the electron, so the body A gets deficiency of electrons and it becomes positive charge. So this is how the charges develop in the case of static electricity. Now let's jump to the experiment that we have already discussed. That is the glass rod and the ebonite rod. In the case when the glass rod is rubbed with the silk, then we are disturbing the glass rod and the silk. They both rub against each other, so there occurs some imbalance. Now, the electrons from the glass rod is transferred to the silk. So, the glass rod has the deficiency of electrons and the glass rod becomes positively charged. As the silk acquires the electrons, so the silk becomes negative charge because the silk has excess of of electrons. So this is how the process takes place. Now, we all know that the electricity is only produced when there is a high potential and there is a low potential. High potential and low potential is created between positive and negative charges. Now, in the case of static electricity, you can see from whatever I have explained you that one body becomes negative charge and the other body becomes positive charge. So, in this condition, when one body becomes positive charge and other body becomes negative charge, so there occurs a potential difference and due to this potential difference some amount of mild electricity flows which we get as an electric shock and which we call as static electricity. Now there is a very important question that clicks to a mind. Why is there only a crackling sound that we hear in winters only? That is when we take off a wooden clothes why is that crackling sound is heard only in winters? Why not in summers? Why not in summer, summers when you remove your clothes, you heard that same annoying crackling sound? The answer to it also is very simple. In winters, generally the air around us is dry. The dry air is a good insulator. Now, in summers, the content of moisture in the air increases. So the air becomes moist. The moist air acts as a conductor. Now, if we talk about winters, okay, then in winters, as the dry air is insulated, so it does not allow the movement of electrons. The electrons remain 
cling to the body they get accumulated over the surface of the body so when another body gets rubbed to it it gets transferred to that body there is no movement of electrons because the air is not allowing the electrons to move from one place to another that is why we feel maximum electric shock or the static electricity in winter if i talk about summers then in summers as there is already moisture in the air then electrons does not remain cling to the surface they does not accumulate over the surface they remain distributed all over in the air that's why if there is no accumulation of electrons in one particular place so static electricity is very very less now this is the very common phenomenon and this is only the basic reason behind the formation of static electricity now i am telling you that static electricity gives you a mild electric shock okay this mild electric shock is produced due to high potential and low potential if there is a potential difference that is high and low so why don't we get a high electric shock in current electricity we get high electric shock because there is a potential difference here is also a potential difference so why we are getting only mild electric shock the reason behind this is in static electricity yes there is high potential difference that is there is high electric field developed but if i will tell you about the electric shock then electric shock does not matter with the potential difference okay the electric shock only is concerned with the electrons if i am telling that in current electricity you will get electric shock the electric shock you will get because there are maximum electrons in static electricity the electric potential is higher than in current electricity but the potential does not give you electric shock electric shock gives you what electrons and electrons are very very less in static electricity that's why in static electricity we will get mild current as compared to that in current electricity